The Sims 4's 23rd birthday. And to celebrate, they gave us a brand new Sim Summit stream. Now, I may or may not have been late to the stream because I was playing The Witcher 3 and I spent a lot of time trying to time the screenshot so that Geralt's sword would hit the lightning because I am a gamer. But I did manage to catch it right before the- Oh my god. And they announced a lot of things. So instead of watching a very long live stream, why don't I just explain it, tell you what happened and then shove a bunch of my opinions on you. Deal? Deal. During this live stream, they brought out one of the Sim gurus to talk about Project Renee, also known as The Sims 5. And I really don't understand why they don't just call it The Sims 5 because it is. That's Isn't that what it is? Is he okay? Blink twice if you need help. Now, for some reason during this stream, they did a lot of talking and speaking. So I decided that for my ADHD bitches out there, let me summarize what we learned. They are officially playtesting parts of Project Renesme. I mean, The Sims 5. It's still years away from actually being completed and ready to ship out, but they do have parts of gameplay that are being playtested right now to see what works and what doesn't. He also went on to talk about how build by mode is a lot more in depth. You can change the color of individual pieces of furniture, and it sounds so exciting until you remember it. We already had that in The Sims 3. Project Renee is also 100% confirmed to be multiplayer, but multiplayer is optional, which means you can just play single player all you want, hop on with your friends for a little bit, and then come back and just be alone uh, all over again. Well, yes, we know our players don't have any friends. You're also able to play The Sims 5 both on your PC and on your mobile device. He hinted that the mobile version is not gonna be as in-depth as the PC version, but it seemed like you can create a Sim in your mobile device and then play them on your PC or whatever. I don't know. I don't have the game. I'm just going off of what he said, okay? But essentially, you can play on your PC, then go somewhere outside and continue right where you left off. You can literally take your Sims addiction to a whole new level. My therapist is gonna love this. Bob, don't turn around, Bob. Then the stream went to talk about The Sims Mobile, so I decided to go get a snack. And then I came back and saw that they started to talk about The Sims Free Play, so I went to get another snack. I just got back from Chipotle. But then I came back right when they started to talk about something that we actually care about. The moment we We've all been waiting for a new type of sim to neglect. Infants. Now this stuff went really fast. So I'm gonna try and break down every new piece of information that I gathered from this. First of all, is that a birthmark? They're introducing brand new mommy milker gameplay. If I'm such a baby, then breastfeed me then. Infants do come with a lot of really cute onesies and clothes and I don't even like babies, but goddamn, that's so cute. With infants, you can actually pick them up and sit with them. You can even pass them between sims. Yes, I know I was neglecting the baby, but here, look, now it's your turn to neglect the baby. I do have a question though. Why does your infant need a helmet? Now, if you're curious about the due date, infants are coming in on March 14th, so you still have a ways to go. But you don't have to pay for it. Speaking of things you actually have to pay for, the brand new Sims 4 expansion pack was revealed. Well, actually, it's revealed that it's going to be revealed um, on February 2nd. They did an announcement for an announcement again, and honestly, I'm sick of it. But in terms of the information we actually got in this stream, even though I was late. I wasn't that excited about the infant update as everybody else's, but looking at this stuff, it actually looks really cohesive and really cute. Obviously, I can't judge it until I've played it, but it really seems like they put a lot of depth and care into this brand new life stage, because I know when Toddlers came out, it was actually a whole lot of new gameplay. So you know what? It's kind of exciting that we're all going to collectively get some new free gameplay. I mean, yes, it should have been in the game to begin with, but honestly, I'm used to it now. So yeah, I guess uh, I'll, I'll see you guys on Tuesday when we figure out what the fuck is going on hey it's past the seven second mark let me curse